Hi, I'm Caroline Weilert, Vice President of Marketing at Valleycrest Landscape Companies. I'm sitting here today with Richard Bruckner, the Director at the LA County Department of Regional Planning. And we're here at the ULI Fall Meeting 2011 to talk about the future of planned communities. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just going to go ahead, Richard, and ask you a couple of questions. Um, the first question is, if you agree the issue is what we build versus where we build, how can we shift future development into more cohesively designed neighborhoods and communities? Well, I think the, the, comp, the idea of building compact is really taking hold. The size of units are getting a little bit smaller. People are much more concerned with the use of natural resources, energy, water, and land. So uh, the market forces are moving in our favor as households get smaller, but also the costs of uh, natural resources will uh, necessarily drive us to uh, more compact communities in the future. Great. And what's the most challenging part of the land development entitlement process and where can we start to make it better? Uh, I, I think we've started to make some inroads. The most difficult part, I believe, is the uh, abuse of the California Environmental Quality Act, which on the face of it is a very good thing that we analyze the environmental impacts of projects. But it's really become a, a legal instrument and it's, it's uh, a, a way for folks to stop projects simply through litigation. The environmental impact report should be and was designed to be a full disclosure document so that decision makers completely understood the project and its impacts. It's turned into a boon for lawyers and, and uh, folks who want to uh, stop projects for other, for other reasons. So the most recent steps by the California legislature uh, uh, as, as, uh, as proposed by the governor uh, where litigation is shortcutted a bit uh, is, a, is one step forward. All right, and the final question this morning. Uh, do you believe it's possible to plan community? And what's essential for creating community in the next decade? Well, I think the demographic shifts that are happening now and the, uh, the perspective of both the baby boomer generation as they age and the generation Y as they become more mobile, um, quite frankly, have start families later, uh, will really start to shape communities of the future. Uh, people are going to, again, uh, be, be more mobile, look to save natural resources, and uh, uh, want to live near culture, education, and health. And so as we plan communities, we need to be very cognizant of their locational aspects and near those amenities. Great. Well, thank you very much for sitting down with me today. You're welcome. And enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you.